Hi guys. Um, today we're using the Dixie Belle Sea Spray Additive. It's great for adding texture to your pieces. I'm going to use this Midnight Sky. And I just grab a plate, paper plate or whatever. I put a little bit on there. About a dab of do ya. About, about a half a scoop. Um, they say do a brownie batter. Mine's more of a cookie dough batter, like a little thicker, a little bit more heavy texture. So mix it up to where you don't see the white anymore because the white will go on your piece like powder. So you want to make sure to mix it up. I want to see it stand on its own basically. And I'm using a, just the Dixie Belle, like they have these palette, plastic palette knife, spatula, and get some on there about like that. And I'm going to go to my corners, crevices, and I kind of let it fan out. I deposit it heavy in the corner and then kind of let it fan out as I go across and give it some texture. And the, the less you rub it, the more thick your texture is going to be. So if I want it to be like heavy right there, then I just leave it like that. So I like to add a little bit in the middle so it doesn't look so planned. And so I'll just add a little bit. And I do kind of a back and forth like that. See how cool that looks? And that's pretty much it, guys. Once you do this, then you let it dry. If you add a heat gun, it'll crackle up a little bit. It'll look a little crunchy. Um, or you can just let it dry by itself. And then a lot of times I'll use the black gilding wax and kind of hit this when I'm done so that it gives it even a little bit more raised texture. But you can mix the sea spray with any color you're doing. I like to do the darker of the colors I'm doing to add that extra depth. And then when I go back and hit it, um, I might take a dry brush of a lighter color over it and then hit it with the black gilding wax going to really add some depth and character and look how much age this has gotten now. So easy peasy guys.